Okay, so today for class, we're going to create a cob. Okay, or what we're going to do is take an image, okay, cut out the background, cut out background, cob, okay, on GIMP, okay, and then place that image on another background. Exciting stuff. So I'm going to click on the start button. Okay, I'm going to type in GIMP, and I'm going to double click on GIMP2 and, and fire up GIMP. Okay, this is something very common okay, that you'd use in magazines, newspapers, uh, books, okay, where you want to take just an image, okay, you're, you know, it's, it's set to a certain background, or maybe it was a photo taken and you just want a certain object of the image. Okay, what you want to do is delete the background around it and then save it and then put it on another background. Okay, but in, in GIMP today, we're just going to delete the background, put it on another background, and show you how that works. Should be pretty fun. Okay, so we have our image, our, our GUI for GIMP, our graphic user interface. Okay, and it might have took, if you're using this for the first time, it might take um, some time to load up. Okay, so what we're going to do okay, is we have a folder okay, on your desktop okay, titled Cobb, and there's a couple images in there okay, that I'm, we're going to choose from to get rid of the background. So I'm actually going to access that by going to File, Open, okay, and I'm going to click on my desktop folder. Okay, I'm going to click on the Cobb folder, okay, and I'm going to take this picture of LeBron okay, and I'm gonna get rid of the background okay we want to convert very good okay so what we're going to do okay, is okay we just want the picture of him okay so what we're gonna do is select him first okay so I'm gonna go to my my toolbox okay I'm gonna click on the uh, the, the uh, Picture of the rope there it looks like a cowboy lasso. Okay, and we call I call it the lasso tool. It's, and, and you might hear me say free select tool. It's the same same thing. I just call it the lasso tool because it looks like a lasso. Okay, so what we want to do okay, is okay, in our toolbox the, there's uh, different properties and options for this tool. Okay, we want to check and make sure we're feathering edges. Okay, and we're gonna bring that down to like a radius of one. Okay, I am going to zoom in just a bit. Okay, and maybe make my window a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, and then select my lasso tool again. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, gonna start by clicking okay, right at the edge of the photo by his arm. You can see okay, as I go around him, it kind of detects okay, the color of our object. Okay, so meaning it might it might be able to guide you along a little bit before it, before you have to click again. Okay, and this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, but what we're gonna do is just keep continuing to select and trace around him. Okay, I would suggest okay, tracing him or tracing one of the easier pictures to trace. Okay, one that doesn't have a lot of shape to it. Okay, when you're first starting out with this. So as we trace around him, okay, you could have a little drink there, you could sing okay, a little song to yourself okay, as you go through it. There we go. Oh, I'm starting to get off out of the line there. There we go. Okay, and the more you feather the edges, the more that it will detect the color around it. Okay. This is one of the more fun activities on here. I like this. 
Okay, now for this assignment, we're calling this cob or cutout background. Okay, another practice you might use this for um, is creating or using an image to create a character in a game. Okay, if you ever do that in the future, and that's and that's usually referred to those characters, those image characters are referred to as sprites. So you might hear this being called a sprite. Okay, and then also maybe an avatar. Okay, use a picture, you know, for a profile or something like that. You might call this an avatar. Okay, so we got LeBron selected. Okay, our last step there, we just went back to that original circle and clicked it. Okay, and notice that I went off the picture, okay, to click there because we don't need to continue to click along here. You could do that, okay, but it's going to just select everything within the lasso, okay, at the edge. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go to select and then click invert. Okay, it might be hard to tell here. Okay, but what that does, okay, is it actually selects everything. It brings the, our selection forward, okay, and it selects everything behind it. Pretty cool, okay? So, you know, we wanted to select him so we could select the background to get rid of it. So what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to go to our Layers tool. Okay, so if that doesn't show up for you there, and it's not showing up for me, okay, we want to go ahead and click on this arrow, okay, and then go to Add Tab, and then click Layers. Okay, yours might already be up there. Okay, so with that selected, we're going to click on our only layer, LeBron. Okay, and then we're going to click on, we're going to right click and go to Add Alpha Channel. Click there, and then hit Delete. Oh, baby, looking good. Okay, so you could see here, if we didn't do that, okay, it would show up with one of these colors as the background, and that means that doesn't mean we got rid of the background. Okay, it, it auto, it's auto, it's going to put in the the default um, background color if you do that. So you want to see these checkered boxes behind them. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to deselect him, go to select none. Okay, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna add in a little fun background behind him. So. To do that, okay, I already have, to do that, you could go to Google Images, you could find a cool background on there as long as it's appropriate, okay, or you could create your own background, okay, that's pretty cool, okay, and, and superimpose it behind him, okay, but for this, I'm just going to, I already downloaded some stuff, so I'm going to go to File, okay, and pull up one of those backgrounds, but we're going to open that background as a layer, so let's go to File, and then open as layers. Okay, and then I put a folder inside your cob folder called backgrounds. Okay, and I put four of them here. So if you're not interested in those, you could go to Google. Okay, I'll put a separate video up there to show you how to save them to use. Okay, but I'm going to use this cool background. I just called it cool background. I downloaded it from Google. Click open. All right. Okay, so you can see here that's smaller than our image. Okay, so I'm going to actually make this a little bit, oh, sorry, let me shrink my window up a little bit. I'm going to make this so it extends across the whole image. So I'm going to use my move tool. Okay, and don't be, we'll, we'll show, don't be uh, concerned. We want to put this in front of LeBron first to start. Okay, and then I'm going to use my scale tool and I'm going to make this huge okay that's what once I'm satisfied I want it to cover that whole checkered screen I'm gonna click scale okay and then that covers it so you're like oh crap where did LeBron go okay okay if we go back to our layers panel you'll see that this background okay, is above LeBron Okay, so the way layers work is the things that are at the top of the, your layers panel are going to display first. So all I'm going to do is click on the LeBron layer. I'm going to move him and put him above the cool background. And there we go. We've got a cool little LeBron um, picture with that background. Okay, I'm actually going to use my scale tool again, this time with LeBron selected and make LeBron just a little bit smaller. and then click scale 
Okay, and then I might use my move tool, put him here. Okay, very cool. Okay, and then once we're done, okay, we want to save him. Okay, we want to export him and save him as an image. So we're done now. What we want to do is go to File. Okay, we're going to go to Export As. Okay, I'm just going to call this LeBron James. Cobb. Okay, make sure that you're putting this in front of the .jpg. Okay, it's important that that file extension stays there. We're going to that's a, a a picture file extension. Okay, so I'm going to save that in the same folder. Click export. Okay, and then we want to make this the quality a hundred percent. Okay, that means we won't lose any picture resolution. And then click export. Cool. Okay, so that way. You know, we could only display this in GIMP if we save it in GIMP. Okay, but now you could use this photo anywhere. Okay, so if I go to my Cobb folder, take my LeBron James Cobb and click on it, okay, it, it'll pull up in whatever program we tell it to. So let's have it display in Photo Gallery. Okay, just to see what we got. And there it is. Cool. Okay, almost looks like a basketball card. Okay, we could do some more stuff to this to make it cooler. Um, almost make it look like a poster, but okay, that's how you create a cob. Okay, we use our selection tool to select the object. Okay, we, we select inverted it to bring that object to the front of the image. Okay, we added an alpha channel, okay, and then hit delete to get rid of the, the background, and then we paste it as a new layer with the other background to put that in there. Good job and best of luck with your assignment. Again, you don't have to use these images. You could use one that you'd like to. Okay, you don't have to use these backgrounds. You could use one that you'd like to. Okay, and if you need help, call me over. Until next time, have a good one.